Hey everybody, this will be a quick video, hopefully. Uh, just going to put together the 3D printed uh, timing bridge. So these are the supports and legs and the upper box and stuff um, used with the aluminum U-channels. So just, just a quick video on how it goes together. So first of all, uh, you'll, there's, I have here, these are for the 30 centimeter track. Um, I don't have the 50 centimeter one in front of me right now, but it's a little bit longer, holds a little bit further out. So just make sure for your 30 centimeter or 50 centimeter, you're using the right feet. Uh, these are the parts where the, the track uh, pegs go down through here to hold it in place. So, um, so I'm going to put together the, the one for the 30 centimeter. So uh, I start by laying it out. There's, <clears throat> excuse me, a flat side. I just start laying out here. The legs and everything are sort of uh, keyed, so that it only goes together uh, pretty much one way. So I'm going to go ahead and put the legs in here. Um, you can decide whether you want just two legs high, which I know some some people run it uh, just two legs high. Um, others maybe with like the easy lap uh, system or something, you may need to go two legs high. So we'll go ahead and do two legs on this one. This is the upper uh, crossbar and that's actually what will hold the upper box. So when we get done the whole thing's gonna stand upright and like so. I just like to lay everything down. Main, main reason I like to lay everything down and sort of sort of get ready like this is um, you only need to put one uh, set of screws in either the outside or the inside. So depending on, I guess, cosmetics, if you want the screws to show on the outside, you can do it all out here. Um, or you can put them on the inside to sort of hide them a little bit. So I'm going to put them on the inside just to sort of show how I do it because uh, these upper ones can get a little tricky. So, um, so now that I know which way everything's going to go and I'm going to go for the inside... I'm going to take all this off and just start putting some screws here on the inside. So uh, just keep in mind these, uh, these are all plastic parts. So you don't need to, you know, crank the screws down in there real tight. You just need, need them snug so that uh, it keeps everything uh, a little more solid feeling. So I'm going to get these screws on these two inside legs. Maybe speed things up just a little. All right, two legs are done. Now, uh, up here, since it is a little tougher to get to, especially with a, a long screwdriver, I'm just gonna put it together here and you can usually get it in this way. Okay, so the legs are done and the upper box is ready to mount. So the upper box mounts with a bolt and a nut and then one screw in the back. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just slip the bolt up through here. And you'll see where it comes out on the other side. And I'm just going to get the nut on here. And again, sort of like the screws, don't need to make it super, super, super tight. I'm just going to get that snug and go around the back and put one screw on this little bottom tab. That's just to make sure it stays flush. All right, and then you may need to take a little pair of pliers and hold that nut, but I can usually get it finger tight pretty good. There we go. And that's just going to hold that top box on. So, so that gets that gets that piece. Um, do that a second time, and then of course you got the the other corresponding leg. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, just to save time. But I'm going to talk about the two 
uh, I guess, popular timing systems. Um, I, there's a couple out there like iLapse and TrackMate, which use uh, Cat5 uh, type of network cable. Uh, these, these upper boxes are made so that you can uh, use a network coupler and you'll take that network coupler and just press fit it inside here. Now, you may need to file it out a little bit or whatever just to get it to where um, it, it's, it stays in there. Uh, it's got a little shelf in, inside here, so you can actually put a little shoe goo on that or something like that if you want to make sure it's locked in place or if you file it out too much. So, um, so that that's really all you have to do for the iLaps and TrackMate because you'll have a short network cable to put on the inside here uh, to go to your your uh, your first uh, uh, connector, your first receiver, and then here you'll put your long network cable back to your uh, um, your other your iLaps reader and the con USB connection to your your computer. So uh, the other system uh, that's uh, pretty popular is the EasyLap system. Uh, there's a box that you can mount for it. So um, this box, if you notice, it's got it's actually got uh, five holes in here. We're gonna, this one's just a recess to allow that other screw to sort of show through. So we're just going to use these holes here for the uh, the easy lap. So let's go ahead and mount it. All right. So there's that. Uh, the next thing you'll you'll want to do is actually uh, feed the cable through here. So hopefully you can see this pretty good. I've got the cable already for the easy lap mounted in this particular channel uh, with some Velcro on the sides. So you'll want to take this end cable and go ahead and feed it through when you, when you assemble the channel. So uh, when you go to put it on the U channel, you just need to press fit it in there real good. You probably want to test fit uh, and make sure everything goes on real well before you you start assembling the box and all that so to get the easy lap on here make sure the ribbon uh, connection is at the top and all your other connections are at the bottom with the easy lap logo facing out and that's just going to slide down here and it's literally going to just snap into place ribbon cable make sure you fed it through if you see it's just right behind here coming out through that nice gap uh, make sure this notch folds over to the outside so that way you can just easily connect it there just gently tuck the rest of the cable sort of back in there the other piece is just the cover and all that's going to do is slide slide over just like so and that's really all there is to mounting the box um, i'm going to go ahead and, and disconnect it and show you how i route the cables all right so i'm gonna put this easy lap back in here cover on so the easy lap comes with a USB cable and it just plugs in to the bottom here um, the 3d printed stuff comes with some of these wire clips so I'm going to just mount some of these wire clips here to the outside all right so I'm just going to route this cable down like so. So basically what that does, it just keeps the cable, you know, along it lined up with the leg of it rather than uh, just dangling all over the place. And obviously once you mount this to the track, then you're going to feed this cable to wherever it is you need to feed it. Um, really the same principle uh, is good for the... Uh, the iLaps and the TrackMate system, 
uh, that network cable you can actually mount some of the clips uh, down in here uh, over here there's there's just a number of holes all over the place on the backs of the crossbars and the legs so that way you the same thing you can just route your cable down along the leg and uh, and then along the track so uh, that's really it for the the leg assembly uh, again as far as fitting the upper boxes onto the U channel really just just go ahead and test fit that um, before you do your final assembly um, some of these upper boxes may be so tight that you have to um, put it on something sort of soft because you don't want to scratch it you don't want to put it against concrete or anything like that but you may have to actually force it onto the end of that U channel uh, with a little bit of tapping so uh, if that's the case go ahead and mount those upper boxes and once you get all the legs assembled, then you can go back and attach them to the to the upper box because you still have access to the nut inside. Um, the Easy Lap system, uh, the way theirs connect, you're going to want to put Velcro on the, on on one of the inside sidewalls, and then run your cable uh, using um, the other piece of the Velcro. Put your put your connectors or your receivers here, and with your ribbon cable going back. Uh, the ILAPS and TrackMate, you can see here I've got some Velcro uh, on uh, the, the inside upper ceiling piece of this. Uh, that's because those need to mount uh, uh, horizontal and they're going to uh, be facing straight down once I, once I put it on the track. So, so anyways, I uh, think that's it. It's pretty quick, pretty simple assembly. Um, and again, uh, I run ILAPS and TrackMate, and I'm fine with just uh, one leg, uh, one leg high, uh, so basically makes it that high. Uh, easy lap, it seems like, uh, you know, especially if you get a, a, a wider track or whatever, you're probably going to want to go too wide. Um, if you do get a little bleed through when you're racing and you find that an adjacent uh, lane may, may be picking up, you can just take and, and make a little uh, little cardboard uh, paper piece inside here just to sort of uh, block the view of, uh, of the adjacent lane. Uh, so easy lap, I don't think it's quite as bad. You can move your, your, your sensors maybe around a little bit. Um, eye laps and stuff, I've done two sensors and still had to put a, a little U blocker right there. So, so anyways, hope that helps. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me and uh hopefully uh hopefully that explains the assembly a little better all right thanks a lot everybody